things are going from bad to worse for Call of Duty, and I am so happy to report that at the time of me recording this, Nick Merckx has not apologized, but he has addressed what has happened with him and Call of Duty taking his operator skin off of the Call of Duty bundle store because he simply said, leave little kids alone. That's all he said. That's the controversial thing that he said, and they are facing massive backlash. And as I said last night, when this entire story broke, that this could be a Bud Light situation. This could be a Target situation, depending on how the reaction is. And right now, it's looking like we're heading in that direction. Every single post that Call of Duty is making is getting ratioed because people are just simply saying the accurate thing to say, which is leave kids alone. That's what people are saying, and they are ratioing Call of Duty all over the internet. This was the statement that they made last night, and it was in reference to this comment where Nick Mertz simply said they should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. Call of Duty decided to respond and said, due to recent events, we have removed the Nick Merckx Operator Bundle from the Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone store. We are focused on celebrating pride with our employees and our community. And Nick Merckx appreciates everything he said, but he ain't apologizing. He says right here, friends are created in good times, but families are built through adversity. Appreciate all of you that have had my back, understand my position as a new father and recognize that I have love for all. Ain't no hate in this heart. And as I said last night in my video, I got to take the, I got to say that I'm wrong and I got to give him the massive W because I said, I thought you might apologize. I'm wrong. Respect. Massive, massive, massive respect for him in handling this the way he has handled it. And people are, you know, showing him support. They're showing him support in a lot of different places. The man himself, Dr. Disrespect, did this today on stream. What we got to do. Is uninstall the game. Number one. I mean, don't get a mistake, in this year's Call of Duty is the worst in its franchise. Uh, but that decision by COD's PR marketing team? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you right now, man. That's a tough one. That's a tough one to digest for the two-time. I feel like, A, they either need to apologize publicly to him or reinstate his bundle in order for me to consider playing Call of Duty again. That's where I'm at. Same place where I'm at. Um, I uninstalled um, all of the Call of Duty games on my PlayStation 5 and um, have no interest in playing it for the foreseeable future as long as this is going on because you can't treat people like this. You cannot do this. Um, they cannot get away with this. It just does not feel right for me to play this game under the current circumstances. I'm not telling other people what to do. You can do what you want with your time and your money. Um, I, if you're asking for my advice, I mean, I would just say if, you know, whatever makes you feel right. And for me, um, I haven't been playing a lot of Call of Duty in the last year, but I recently did pick Modern Warfare 2 back up, and I had been playing it, and I've been enjoying playing it. Um, for what I was looking for out of it. But with this happening, again, I don't know Nick Merckx. Um, I don't know much about him. And this really isn't about him as much as it's about the overall situation. But how they are treating this guy is unacceptable by any decent standard. It's unacceptable. He said absolutely nothing wrong. And if someone finds something wrong with that statement that he made, that's a them problem. And they deserve no further context whatsoever right now call of duty every post they make they're getting ratioed right here um i just simply said leave children alone uh 2000 likes uh compared to their 1600 likes they're getting ratioed uh people are crushing them leave little children alone right here uh let me guess this will feature uh dylan mulvaney hashtag call of groomers uh a lot of people are are really showing them how frustrated they are and I think it's fantastic to see. And I hope we continue to see a lot more of it because, again, this shit right here, unacceptable. And any single person involved with the decision needs to be fired and shamed because they are a piece of trash. Nobody, nobody 
that is not a disgusting piece of trash should have any issue with what Nick Merck said. So I'm happy that he did not apologize. I'm happy to say I was wrong. And now we just have to see how Call of Duty is going to handle this. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo lost money. Raylos are weird. Fuck Call of Duty. Fuck Activision. And we will talk to you later.